Hello folks, welcome to another daily casted match of Age of Empires 4. I am Paragon RG, and I am super excited because there's a new patch. Really solid patch, actually. Really focused. Some important balance changes and bug fixes. So, I am following the first players to play on the new patch. Beastie QT is one of those players. Beastie oh. is a top player. I don't think he's done quite as well in tournaments, but certainly top 16, top 8 player and tends to hang up right around the top of the ladder. So he's in the blue on the east side of this King of the Hill map. And on the west side is the Say Hey Kid. I won't pretend to have heard of this fellow, but to be honest, he's playing Beastie. He can't be all that bad. He's probably a top 100 player. I'm most interested <clears throat> because Beastie is playing as the Delhi Sultanate. The Delhi has had a bunch of fixes. Uh, not really buffs so much as they had technologies that were taking way too long. So I'm interested, for example, to see uh, once this thing is up, we're going to check how long some of these technologies take to research. So, for example, Sanctity is supposed to be... Actually, Sanctity is the next age. But you can see it's three minutes. It's not too bad. Herbal Medicine is shorter. Piety used to be way too long, and now it's two minutes. Uh, fish and production, two minutes. So, not mind-blowing, but <clears throat> much more reasonable. And I think we'll see the effects of that more in the Feudal Age, which was uh, likely the problem. <clears throat> Let's pop over. Interestingly, the French, I think, had zero changes. I think the French and who else? So, we had changes for HRE, Mongols, Delhi, uh, Rus. Uh... So we're, we're waiting on changes for, I guess, Abbasid. Although I think they're... Oh no, the spear fix, the spear issue was with the with the Delhi Sultanate. So uh, anyway, so yeah, no changes for the French. I think none for the Abbasid. They do have their mind on how to improve the Abbasid dynasty, but that is a conversation for a later date. The Say Hey Kid, keeping it real. Bit of an unfortunate spawn. I think this gold is a little farther away than normal. Let's just double check. Might be about the same for BC and Beastie's berries are even right in front now this is king of the hill so there is a single sacred site in the middle of the map uh something to note as well a lot of gold in the middle but importantly look at the wood lines so the closest solid wood line to beastie is all the way over here and you can look at the mini map for all those patches so his next closest is i guess here does it <laughs> This is sheep. How did this happen? I guess uh, I guess he was close enough to take the sheep, but not close enough to. Uh, but the sheep was inside the forest somehow. So yes, I don't know how that happened. Um, that's okay. So PC now going up with the dome of the faith. No real surprise there. I am hoping in the next few months for some landmark uh, landmarks to be completely changed. So. Dome of the Faith. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's an interesting landmark. <clears throat> I think they should just make scholars half price, <clears throat> and they should fix the Tower of Victory, the other landmark, and they should make this do something completely different. Uh, that is my opinion. Other people have other opinions. School of Cavalry coming up for the French player. I actually don't mind their other landmark, but this one is just so clear and obvious that uh, because nobody goes for trading, particularly early in AOE four. Uh, unless maybe you're on <clears throat> something like Boulder Bay, or, or if you're on an island, you know, there's probably no need to go for School of Cavalry. Even then, you might want to land Cavalry. Okay, for, for a minute, I thought he uh, uh, moved all villagers off of this landmark. But anyway, both players are almost up to the Feudal Age. Beastie adding the mill. He'll be getting onto the berries very shortly. Shortly, doesn't have too many sheep hanging around at his base. I was going to say, oh, that's a wolf. For a minute, I thought that was a boar. I had an AoE 2 flashbacks. I was wondering how that was possible. So, uh, I really am... So, both players kind of taking their time getting to Feudal. They are under five minutes regardless. School of Cavalry coming up, and he's going straight for the Royal Knight. So, uh, so it looks like pressure coming out from the Say Hey Kid as quickly as possible, rather than the professional scouts approach and keep in mind the professional scouts have been a little bit nerfed as well when they're carrying deer 
they move 35% slower, which I have heard is slow enough for the for spearmen to catch them, but I could be wrong. Beastie pausing his piety tech, only 27 seconds left on that, but choosing to go for sanctity and adding additional scholars. So this should actually finish uh, pretty quickly, probably within the next minute in 45 seconds or so, once the other scholar pops in here. After that, he'll start pressuring the center, trying to grab that single sacred site. And of course, Delhi is the only Civ that can take sacred sites in the feudal age. Here comes that scholar. Let's let's keep an eye on the, uh, the time left on this thing. Hmm, where are you going, Mr. Scholar? Looks like he's popping directly into the barracks. So never mind, he's going for the efficient production route, adding spearmen <clears throat> right away. And of course, he can always remove the scholar when he chooses. So wants to get more units out on the map. Scouts running out and about for to say, hey kid, and his first knight is also incoming. Let's keep an eye. Looks like the second knight is back there as well. <clears throat> so BC has enough spearmen. I think he'll feel okay here. Uh, doesn't have too much to worry about. Of course, his wood line is completely exposed, so never mind. Loses, loses a villager there. Will be driven out. Takes a few hits from the spears. Not too bad for him. Likely another knight coming in any second. Now, Beastie actually coming forward, trying to build an outpost by the sacred site. So he may have to follow up with some spears so that he doesn't lose this villager. And indeed, three spears heading forward. Now, he has two scholars in here now. Sanctity is down to under a minute left. So pretty soon, he'll be popping out his scholar and running for that sacred site. That thing will generate him 200 gold per minute. It is pretty, pretty important. Looks like Beastie may have lost that villager. So maybe he didn't get the spears there in time. The uh, Say Hey Kid cleverly brought the Royal Knight over. Of course, was that, with that charge damage, only takes two hits to kill a a uh, single villager. And Archer's now coming in from the Say Hey Kid as well. So Beastie really can't deal with those with Spearmen. Archers are a very, very hard counter. Say Hey is also hanging out here with two knights. So he's doing a pretty good job making it feel claustrophobic for Beastie. He's trying to keep him in his own base. He wants to delay the Delhi pushing out and grabbing that center <clears throat> uh, grabbing that center sacred site, particularly because their infantry can build walls, right? So once he gets it, he may never give it up again. Nice scout here from Beastie, just keeping an eye on the wood line, the back of the base of Seihei. Three knights, five archers in here now. Takes out at least one villager of beasties. So the pressure is on here. Two scholars in here. Still has a scholar in here. Let's see if he produces more spearmen. Adding the blacksmith. And he has a stable now as well and is creating horsemen. It's exactly what I hope to see. Horsemen have been buffed after the patch. They now have two ranged armor by default. So without any upgrades, these archers will only do three damage instead of four. This will be a lot harder for them to deal with. Let's keep an eye on this. Okay. Knights, knights being uh, pushed off the back. The base of Beastie. <clears throat> Horsemen doing a good job. Archers probably know they're not going to get them. So in the meantime, they're mostly just targeting any spearmen they can. But Horsemen doing a really nice job here cleaning up those archers. Going to be driven away by the knights, but it looks like they might try to take out the last archers. A little bit of indecision there from Beastie, but actually... Oh, is he going to jump on these ones? For a minute, I thought he uh, baited the knights to one side. He was jumping on the archers from the other side. Let's take a quick look over here. The knights have found Beastie's mill at the top. He has a bunch of hardened spearmen now getting to them. Ooh, this is going to be a bad battle for those knights. If Sehe does not identify this in time... Does he have chivalry yet? It doesn't look like it. Let's take a look back to the front of his base again. Seihei still trying to pile on the pressure. What is Beastie's plan here? It's pretty low in resources. Both players have the resources pretty well balanced. Seihei maybe floating a little bit of food. Beastie adding an outpost. French knights are, are just hard to deal with. There's no getting around that. May even lose more villagers to the archers on the front lines here. In fact, two of them going down. Horsemen and spearmen looks like it's going to be the play for Beastie. He's added the outpost in the back. 
No stone for him, so won't be able to upgrade to the... Uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The arrow slits? That would be the one. Say hey, just trying to do as much damage as he can. He knows if his opponent doesn't have a mill here, well, he can prevent upgrades. He can stop any kind of food production from that side. And, of course, he can swing knights around the other side. Looks like he really needs chivalry, though. Could really use chivalry. Let's take a look. Is that coming in for him? It is actually just finishing now. So... These will start to heal very annoyingly for Beastie. Archers and knights still prowling at the front of his base. What is Beastie's plan here? Scout now being fired on by archers in the back of Say's base. Beastie will notice that. We'll run away that scout in time, not about to lose it. More archers firing at it, but I still think it should be... A okay. Uh, this is actually looking pretty nasty. Say hey, getting a pretty decent force here on the front line, splitting off a single knight. Mostly horsemen for BC, but here come the spearmen as well. This will be interesting to see. Uh, normally, the knight archer combo is just so much better than spearmen horsemen. The archers would normally be able to pick off the horsemen uh, not too badly. Ooh, not good for Beastie. Beastie feeling the need to drop down farms. He doesn't feel he has enough safe food production. He has an extra tower on the back, so gathering berries from there. Ooh, gets his horsemen in on these archers. This could be pretty punishing. Do we see any... So no horsemen go down. So that's already a big difference I think we're seeing. And in fact, these horsemen have an additional upgrade. Archers do not have an additional attack upgrade, so... Each archer is currently doing only two damage to each of the horsemen. And of course, they have 125 hit points. That is going to be pretty slow going, taking down a single horseman. Except, uh, unless, of course, you are using knights. So, horsemen, spearmen. Pretty rare we've seen this so far in Age of Empires 4, but it's looking like it's pretty good so far. Walls coming down for Seihei along the top of, the, of his map. I'm a little surprised about this, but obviously he just wants to feel... A little bit safe, perhaps, against the horsemen. Probably worried that Beastie will do exactly this. Loop his horsemen around the north side of the map. So, this is actually looking like perfect timing from Seihei. In my mind, I was thinking, well, hey, you know, Seihei has all the uh, all the map control. Why does he need walls? This is just going to slow him down. But he does recognize Beastie has the fastest unit in the game in his horsemen. Beastie will see this, will... Put all of his villagers into these towers. Still no upgrades on those towers. No emplacements, rather. We'll pop those out shortly and get them back to work. <clears throat> but is losing villagers on his farms. And these farms are not cheap. They're 75 each. We want to keep them as active as possible. Pulls over two more villagers, but they're about to get charged by knights. He needs to be so careful here. Pulls them into the town center for safety. And, oh, look at this. Beastie got through. I didn't see how it happened. Maybe he prevented a wall from being built with a scout. But he is through, killing villagers on the wood line of Seihei. Seihei is now pretty much completely denied his wood. So, will not be able to produce more archers. 72 wood. We'll keep an eye on that. He shouldn't have much coming in at all. Maybe villagers dropping off whatever they had in their hands at that time. This army is still looking so nasty from Seihei, though. He can afford to take shots from villagers. He's idling 10 villagers of Beastie on that food. On those berries in the top. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, man. So, ten, uh, 9 knights out here. Almost full health because of chivalry. Still, we have... Eight horsemen in the back of Seihei's base. Neither player looks too eager to go to the Castle Age at this stage. Seihei does have a bunch of gold saved up, but I I think that's more an artifact of not having a balanced economy. And look at this. I like this play a lot from Beastie. Taking out the lumber camp at the only wood line that Seihei has. So now he just has to spend an extra 50 wood to even start getting wood again. Really, really nasty, but good thing from him. In the meantime, he's pulled all nine of the French knights back. 
Beastie is, oh, look at this. Taking full advantage of this. This is fantastic play. Heads up play from Beastie. He knows he has his opponent in a bad spot. Not even in, in that dangerous of a spot, but he knows his opponent's army is not where it needs to be. He's going to take advantage of that. All these spearmen throwing up walls so, so quickly. Of course, this being a special ability of the Delhi that their infantry can build walls. Scholar coming forward to capture the only sacred site. Realistically, how is Sehe going to take back the sacred site from Beastie? It's not like knights are particularly efficient at doing it. And I wouldn't be surprised to see some emplacements come in on the... On the... Uh, towers in the front of the map. Okay, archers cutting off the horsemen. Looks like Beastie will probably be mostly cleaned up here. Chooses to keep running. Pulls away a few horsemen. Ooh, does get out alive with two horsemen and a scout. So, you know, everything helps. Beastie has completely walled this now. Has put up a gate. So he is the only one who can get in here. And at about 1605 has captured the only sacred site on the map. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Beastie can now afford to get to the Castle Age. And Delhi is mean in the Castle Age. Keep in mind, there... Let's see if he goes for the House of Learning. He does. So, the Honed Blades technology for the Delhi has been brought back to a reasonable research time once again. So I wouldn't be surprised to see House of Learning into immediate Honed Blades, and he'll probably put up a bunch more barracks if he hasn't already. I'll, I'll take a look over there in just a second, and we'll see what his plan is. Just, at least he has two barracks. He has two scholar... Or sorry, that's a that's a stable. My mistake. Um, but he has a scholar in each of them. So is getting that double production from them. Looks like a scout goes, goes down over there. Archers milling about. Maybe not that sure what to do. Beastie is getting some stone. And I think that is for emplacements. Maybe even spring old emplacements. How much stone? 125 stone needed. We'll see what he chooses to go with. But he does not want to give this up now. His gold is going to is going to advance so nicely. We'll see uh we'll see plus 66 gold pop up here in just a second. Okay, let's keep an eye on uh, let's keep an eye on the battle. Eyes on the prize here. Okay. It just popped up. A plus 66 gold every 20 seconds. That is just so so nice. Arrow slits and springled emplacement on these outposts. BC does not want to give this up. Meanwhile, French Knight's in the back of his base. I missed that. Throwing all of his villagers into the town center. Looks like they all fit. Spearmen. Driving away the knights for now. Doesn't actually kill any. Of course, those are just going to heal, frustratingly, for the Delhi player. Let's take a look. He's getting honed blades first. So, men-at-arms and lancers equip a weapon called a Khalij, increasing their damage by plus three. So men-at-arms for Delhi are pretty, pretty mean, and he still has the option of going for Lancers. He doesn't have enough wood right now to add more production buildings, but I want to keep an eye on that. I want to see what he goes for. Elephants. I didn't see that coming, but elephants are good against knights in at least a pitched battle, so... The problem, of course, is they're so slow, they can't always make it into the combat. Knights can sort of hit a villager, run away, hit another villager, run away, and the elephant is still trailing behind them. Knights up top for Sehe, going to swing around. Looks like he is going up to the Castle Age as well with the Guild Hall. So he's going with the economic approach here. Trying to keep an eye on Beastie's plan here. Do we see any more production buildings? No, but he is starting to pump out men at arms, and I don't see any lancers from him. That elephant was expensive, right? That elephant was potentially, um, what, something like six, seven men at arms? Okay, so Scholar's starting to wander out in the map to grab relics. Look, looks fairly lucky that he wasn't in the path of these knights when they were here. Some horsemen coming back. I don't think that's going to be too effective. Man-at-arms even will not be too effective, but every little bit of damage 
helps, and look at this, Elephant coming in now. Mostly trying to get, looks like he's he's in a phase where he's grabbing relics, so he's he's in that middle phase of the game, he's trying to establish the, the map control that he, that he needs, uh, or rather use the map control he feels he has to get the relics on the map. I'm not actually sure how much map control he has, I think it might be a bit of an illusion. The knights can't really take direct battles with him right now, but yeah, look at this. It's a little lucky, to be honest. I mean, if those knights swung around the north, this would not be a relic for Beastie. So Beastie at one relic, one sacred site. That's 300 gold so far, about to be 400 gold per minute. Wouldn't be surprised to see the scholar head off for the relic down here very, very shortly. Even more walls popping up for Sehe. Really trying to close down the map. I am very surprised about this. I Yes, the horsemen caused problems earlier, but Beastie has the middle of the map. He needs to make a play for this. He's already upgraded this outpost to have an extra 1,000 hit points. He's doing the same on this outpost and is now throwing up a keep on the back line. Now, this one did cost a full 800 gold. He doesn't have the compound of the defender as his tier 3 landmark and we may actually see that the compound of the defender goes out of style now that there are better upgrades here and Hone Blades has now come in and you can see some of these other texts that are much shorter they're more just bonuses right houses providing more population that's just a nice to have it's not going to uh, make or break the game increased sight range of outposts that is actually not bad at all considering that he has outposts in the middle of the map so wouldn't have been surprised to see that prioritized and beastie in the meantime is adding his own walls all over here using that deli advantage getting infantry all over the place really trying to close down this map he wants his opponent to have to come from exactly one spot and from that spot he will be ready with a keep and probably with elephants these scholars are now track stars as Turin would say running along quite a bit faster than scholars normally would and let's take a look at these men at arms you see they have that kilege attack so 16 attack instead of, I guess, 13. Ay, ay, ay. This is looking pretty strong from Beastie. I, I don't know what Seihei's plan is. It seems like, okay, looks like he's going to try to trap down the outposts in the middle and the keep if he needs to. I don't mind that, but trebs are very slow. Now he has gone Spearman. So there's really no way Beastie can actually get to the treb. Unless maybe he adds uh, Springholtz, something like that. And I haven't seen any sign of Siege from Beastie. So I was I was way off on the on the uh, extra barracks. He's just been steadily producing men-at-arms. Uh, used to be double time, it's now even single time. Producing elephants. And he is trying to double produce archers of some sort. Let's take a look at the center. Knights trying to... Wait, do both of these have spring ults? I th How did that happen? I thought he did arrow... Maybe he cancelled the arrow slits. Must have cancelled the arrow slits and gone for uh, spring ult emplacement. Doing 61 damage on each of these. Now, BC's okay with him getting through. Ooh, don't want to lose those villagers. Yeah, that didn't pan out. So, elephants in now, and look at this. These elephants are, are going to murder these knights. I don't think this is a good battle for Seihei at all. I think he needs to go slower. He needs to treb down these outposts. Trebs have perfect accuracy against buildings, as far as I know. And so he should be able to take out the outpost, remove a lot of that DPS coming from the Springholds on the outpost. In the meantime, these Tower War Elephants doing a great job against a bunch of different types of units, and War Elephants really cleaning up the knights. I mean, look at the bodies all over here. Used to be French knights, now they are corpses. Men at arms. Look at those Kalish swords. Those are awesome. And and Seihei just calls it. Figures he's out. There's not anything he can do. Uh, the center of the map is lost. He lost a major battle. I think that was an overcommitment on his part. But nevertheless, really solid knight aggression from Seihei with the French. Beastie showing us how it's done with Delhi on the new patch. This has been Paragon RG. I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. And I will catch you next time.